Hey welcome back this is Sid. In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove flare from your images in just two simple steps. Now there are two ways to go about this. The first method takes a longer time and involves a lot of dodging and burning. And the second way is to remove it by using frequency separation. But if I had to do it by the first method I would create an empty layer with the blend mode set to color. And then pick a color from around the sweater and with a low flow or opacity gently paint over the lens flare. So the idea is to remove the color cast by using the color of the sweater. And you'll have to sample the color from different areas to make it blend properly. Once you're done, the next step will involve a lot of dodging and burning to even out the tones. And in the other technique, we can do it faster plus bring out the texture even more. And this involves frequency separation. In the last video I showed you how to separate your image into 5 bands of frequency and also included a free action with it. And by the way I've updated the action with 16 bit versions. So those who have already downloaded it you might want to download the new version again. And those of you who use the Pro Workflow X panel the frequency separation button has been now updated to frequency separation 5 and it will automatically select 8 or 16 bit version depending on your image. So if you want the latest version go ahead to your account and download it again. Now I'm going to run the frequency separation 5. The first separation is for the high and mid layer. So blur radius around 10 is fine. Next we have to set a blur for the lower mid frequency layer. And finally for the low layer. I'm going to set it to 90. I've explained all of this in details in the frequency separation video. So make sure to watch it to fully understand how this technique works. So now I have my image split into 5 different frequencies. So if I turn off my high layer and the upper high layer. This would have been my low frequency layer if I did standard frequency separation. But now I have the option to turn off the mid and the lower mid layers. Now I can create an empty layer above the low layer and set it to color blend mode just the way we did in the previous approach. But if I had to work directly on the low layer, I can either select the color replacement tool and sample the color of the sweater and paint directly on the low layer. So let me just undo this. And the other way is to take a regular brush tool and change its blend mode to color. And now if I sample the color and paint directly on the low layer, I can remove all the color cast. Just keep on sampling from different areas of the sweater that you're painting. Now to blend it a bit further, you can either use the mixer brush tool, but I prefer sticking with the regular brush and changing the blend mode to normal. Pick a mid color from the sweater and with a very low opacity or flow, Paint over the transitions. If you paint too much, you can always use the fade command to fade the stroke. Now that the base is looking very nice on the low layer, let's move on to the texture layer, which is on this high layer. So the only thing visible on the high layer is this outline of the lens flare in this corner of the sweater. If there were any color casts on this layer, in that case what you can do is click on the high layer and turn off the visibility of all the other layers. Select the neutral grey color from around the sweater. And with your brush set to the color blend mode you could paint over the color cast to remove them. Now let's see how to remove this line from the sweater. So the ideal way is to use either the clone stamp or the healing brush tool on the high texture layer. But since this area has very soft texture, I'm going to let Photoshop's artificial intelligence handle it. So with my high layer selected. I'm going to select my patch tool and make a selection around it. Now I could use the patch tool to replace the texture or I could press shift delete to instantly fill this area with content aware. But for better accuracy I'm going to use the new content aware fill which can be found in edit and content aware fill or for the panel users you can directly click on CA fill. So what this allows us to do is to guide Photoshop which area to clone from. So I'll just paint around the soft texture areas and maybe click on scale. That looks about right. So let's click OK. So this did a good job. Now if you notice the area around the sweater is soft. This could be for two reasons. Either the lens flare or it could be because of the shallow depth of field due to the low f-stop of the lens. So if that is the case you can keep it soft but if you wish to make it stand out even more I'll show you one little trick. So I'll create a selection around the area which has soft focus on the sweater. Then feather the selection. And then copy the selection on a new layer. Now I can reduce the opacity to match the texture. 
Now I'm going to turn on the visibility of all the layers except the mid and the lower mid frequency layers. And then close the group. Now since this is a very soft dreamy image, there are two ways I could go about it. First, I could invert the mask and paint white on the mask just to remove the lens flare from the sweater. Or I could do it the other way around. The thing about frequency separation 5 is that when you cut down the mid and the lower mid frequencies, it gives a soft dreamy look to an image, just like a pro mist filter does for the lens. So I could use it to my advantage and paint black only where I want the texture to be prominent. Like her face and some parts of the sweater and maybe the curtains. So basically you have the freedom to make the image look however you want it. Now take a look at the before and this is the after. So with frequency separation 5, we not only removed the lens flare, but also made the image more appealing by cutting down the mid and the lower mid frequencies. And cutting down these mid frequencies may not work all the time. Sometimes you might have to create a mask on it and paint out some areas. But since this was a soft dreamy image, it worked out pretty well. Now we can make it a little bit better by doing a little bit of dodging and burning. So I'll create a burn layer using the curve and gently paint over the bright patches of the sweater to blend in with the shadows. If we had taken the first approach of dodge and burn, this work could have taken up to 2 hours to blend in the tones. But now since the heavy lifting has been done by frequency separation, we can get our final image with just a few strokes. So there, that looks good enough. This is the before, and this is our final image. And not counting this third step of burning, we remove the lens flare and enhance the texture just in 2 steps. First by correcting the color on the low frequency layer and then by fine tuning the texture on the high. If you want to practice along, I'll leave a link for the image in the description below. And if you've not already downloaded the frequency separation 5 action, I'll link it again in this video below. But make it a point to watch the frequency separation video to really understand the concept behind it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you one more trick we can do with frequency separation 5. So make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.